Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. John and Ellie of Georgia Bear Reviews back at you today with another product review. And what I'm looking at today is a Scotch whiskey. I'm looking at the Inverhouse Green Plaid, very rare Scotch whiskey. Now, we did an examination over on Louisiana Beer Reviews, so go check that out if you haven't already and look for Ron's solo review of this product for a much more detailed and better review than what I'm about to do here. But anyway, this product was introduced, I believe, sometime in the 60s. Um, it is a Sazerac brand. One interesting thing, Inverhouse is actually a distillery in Scotland. And this distillery, the Inverhouse Distillery, makes this product for Sazerac. Um, this is a 1.75 liter bottle, which I got for $9.99. I believe that was a markdown price. There were only two left on the shelf. Uh, the bottle had dust on it. It obviously had been sitting there for a while. Uh, normally, I think you can expect to pay between $13 and $15.99 for this size bottle. I know Ronald Terrio got his uh, 750 ml bottle for $9.99, so that's probably about what you're going to pay for that size normally. Uh, anyway, if you could find it for this price, definitely for $9.99 for a 1.75 liter bottle, definitely check it out, um, but I don't think you will. Now, Inverhouse is actually a subsidiary of a company in Thailand. Kind of a strange little fact uh, about this company. Um, it says, aged three years, imported by and bottled for Barton Imports, Chicago, Illinois. Product of Scotland. All right, let's go ahead and pour it up. All right, there's the appearance. It's... Um, Light golden color, very clear. Got some nice alcohol legs forming on the glass. The aroma is pretty standard for a cheap blended scotch whiskey. You're getting a little bit of that peat, that smoky quality that you can expect to get from a scotch on the aroma. Some corn, definitely some corn with this. Kind of a little sweet on the aroma. Almost like a cream corn type note. It smells very pleasant. Nothing offensive whatsoever about the aroma. It's just really not that complex. But what do you expect for this price point? So let's go ahead and get into it. Cheers, guys. The palate follows the nose. You're getting a little bit of that peat smoky character right up front. Um, kind of leads into like a corn note, a pretty substantial corn note in the middle. Uh, the finish is obviously very dry. It burns a little bit going down, but not as much as you might think for an 80 proof scotch. Um, it's actually pretty smooth albeit simple, but smooth, nonetheless. That's pretty much all I'm getting, guys. It, it's very simple. A little bit <clears throat> of the peat smoke action, like I said, to let you know that it's a scotch whiskey. Um, definitely, you know, definitely has the corn notes on the palate. The finish is pretty smooth, slight burn going down, maybe just a touch of caramel, and that's really about all I'm getting. Simple, uh, it's okay to sip on neat, but this is something that probably 95% of consumers are mixing this into their favorite cocktail, uh, because it really doesn't have a lot of depth of flavor 
it doesn't have a ton of character, but there's nothing bad about the character that is there. It is very smooth and easy sipping. Uh, you could put this on the rocks with maybe a little, I don't know, lemon or lime twist or something like that. Maybe amp it up a little bit. But for the most part, people are mixing this into their cocktails um, because there's really not too much there. It would mix well with just about anything because there's nothing offensive. There's nothing really strong about the flavor. It's just mellow from start to finish. So an excellent mixer for sure. Uh, if you can find it for $9.99 for a 1.75 liter bottle, like I said, definitely worth checking out at that price point, especially if you're just going to buy it and use it in cocktails anyway. Um, but I would definitely recommend it if you can find it. I've heard that it can be kind of tricky to find. Um, it's not very popular in my area. There's only one store that I know had it for sure. Um, and it, at this price point, I couldn't, there was no need to continue shopping at other stores. I mean, you're not going to find it for $9.99 for a 1.75 liter bottle uh, very often, if ever. So I'm going to give this a B. Um, I haven't been giving specific numerical ratings for products like this, but I did on the examination that I did with Ron Ontario the other day. So, and I'm going to stick with that rating. I'm going to give it an 83 out of 100. It's a B. Um, it's definitely good. Easy drinking, like I said, but there's really just not much there. And I think you could do better at this price point. Uh, Clam McGregor is $9.99 for a 750 ml bottle. Uh, which I which that's what this is normally priced at I believe so that's comparable to this um, regarding price point and that one in my opinion is much more complex has a lot more peat smoky character and it doesn't have that really noticeable corn taste um, that this one has so I think Clam McGregor would be a step up from this uh, and that one is better for sipping neat if you're going to buy a cheap whiskey and you want to drink it neat, then that would be one to go for over this. But overall, a good product, 83 out of 100 for the Inferhouse Green Plaid. That'll do it for this whiskey review, guys. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.